I spend 12 hours a day just putting one screw in the iPhone. Well, my name is the Jian Zeng. I work in a Packertron Apple factories in Shanghai. So what I do is just put a one screw that fasten the speaker to the back case of the iPhone. We will start in the factories at 7.30 and then uh, we will spend 12 hours inside of the factories. But actually we only do 10 and a half hours work because the break time is deducted. You get bored because like you're just repeatedly doing the same thing. The amounts that I get is 3,100 yen. I think that's around $450. It's per month, but it's included uh, the base salary plus the overtime uh, wages. We only take a break once a week on Sunday. Uh, during my time there, I think there are about uh, 70,000 workers inside of the factories. The factory is pretty big. The whole factories have uh, seven sub-factories, but they are all in one main campus. There are required uniform. We have a blue hat, and then we have a pink shirt and a blue pants but we only get one set of it. And workers also wear sleepers. We have a locker room. That's where workers uh, change their clothes, put their phones, their keys, all the medals. Some workers, very rarely, they do have iPhones, but most of the workers, they use some kind of like China-produced phones, which are cheaper. We need to swipe our car, uh, and then they have a face recognition, and then the door will open and you get in. After you get in, you wait in line to go through a metal detector. But that was during the time that I was producing uh, iPhone 6S. When I was producing iPhone 7, they increased their security level. When I get into the fourth floor, I need to swipe my car again and go through another metal detector. One thing that shocked me most, I think, is the attitude of the manager. Like, yelling at workers is kind of a routine in the factories. There are still some facilities or mechanisms that prevents workers from committing suicide. They have the nets uh, in the stairs and also all the windows, they have this um, ceiling like cage where uh, you, can, you can jump from the window. So we live in a dorm and there are multiple dorms uh, in the factory. Some are located inside of the main campus, some are off campus. My dorm is off campus. We need to take a shuttle bus, which is about 10 minutes. So inside of the room, eight people live together, but in one floor, we only have one restroom and one uh, bathroom for shower. It's shared by about 200 people because we have about 20-ish rooms in one floor. Workers generally do two things. They either uh, stay in their dorm to watch movies uh, for, on their phone, or they go to an uh, internet cafe to play video games. And the games they play are like League of Legends and something like that. There are different spots that you can have food inside of the factories. One of them, uh, the one that we have most, is inside the factory workshop building. They have eight types of combo. Some of them are just noodles and with no meat and just some vegetable. Those are the cheap ones, which is like 5 yuan. So in the factories, I saw a lot of workers are male. The age is like 18 to 30. They are very social, they are very friendly, and everybody has a very interesting life and very unique. Um, characteristics. Typically in the weekend they go out of the campus because there is a very big market very close to the campus where there's a lot of restaurants, people get roast chicken sometimes as a treat for their weekend and people get beer and have a gathering together but those are ha only happens in, in Sunday typically. You're not allowed to drink inside of the dorm and also you're not allowed to smoke uh, in, the, in the dorm. And when you are drunk or you're wasted, you're not allowed to get into the dorm because there are some cases that uh, workers fight because of that. The turnover rate is very high in the factories. People left after two weeks or a month. I won't say people are proud of their work, but uh, I would say that they just consider it a job that can give them money. Somehow you feel exciting. Typically at the end of the day, when the line manager is counting down that, saying that we have 500 pieces left, 200 pieces, you see workers are like smile, they talk with each other, and that was the moment that you feel really good at the end of the day.